All right. So first I want to start off with a couple of questions. Who's done, I know some of you have done trade shows before. Let's just get a show of hands. Who here has done a trade show before, AIM or something else? All right, almost everybody, that's great. Why don't you guys just give me one word. When I say trade show, what one word pops into your mind? Money. Money? <laughs> what was yours? Leads. What else? Meetings. Meetings. Any personal feelings about trade shows? Sorry? Sore feet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't catch Sore feet. Sore feet. Perfect. Absolutely. Painful. Physically painful. What else? Sorry? Giveaways. Free stuff. Anything else? Knowledge. Okay. There's, <laughs> there's the idea that in addition to all of this, we could actually learn something. All right. Well, I want to find out specifically what your goals are during the show, and I want to make sure you know what your goals are during the show. So can I just ask you to just in two or three words, just tell me personally why you are here, what you hope to accomplish in the next uh, three days besides just surviving. <laughs> we'll assume you want to survive. What else do you want to do? Meet all your key customers. Mark, perfect. What else? I assume the wheels are turning, right? Yes. Make contacts with professional services. Okay, anything else? The rest of you just love Philadelphia, couldn't wait to go, huh? Get leads, okay. Well, let me tell you what some of my goals are for this group, uh, and this is why we're doing the training. My first goal is to help you guys stand out. Now, according to Steve over here, right, you already stand out, right? But Steve, tell them the first, you said when you walked on the floor this morning, what's the first thing you saw in the room? Abby. This sign right up here. Yep. So you guys are already doing a pretty good job of standing out, thanks to Gwen. I want to help you stand out even more if you just, just from where you're sitting, take a quick look around the show floor. Pretty chaotic, huh? So I want to make sure that when people go to dinner tonight, that the company they remember, the company they talk about to their friends, the company they take home with them is Abby and not any other company on the show floor. When you do that, when you stand out, when you become memorable, when you become interesting, you sell more. Right, Joe? All right. So that's the main goal. That's why we're here, and I want to help you accomplish that too. And by the way, this doesn't have to be painful, doesn't have to be drudgery. I want to see if we can actually help you have more fun while you're standing out and selling more. How does that sound to everybody? Good. Dean, you up with that? All right. All right. So let's dig in here. I'm just going to give you a quick taste of what we'll cover in the next uh, few minutes. First, we're going to talk about what I call the trade show game, you know, what this environment is about, the opportunities, the challenges it presents. We're going to go over some house rules as if we were in Vegas of uh, sort of the way things work on a trade show floor that you want to keep in mind that apply to any trade show situation. And then we're going to go bit by bit through connecting with the customer, having that first moment of connection with them on the floor, qualifying them and finding out how much they're worth to you, then going through a demonstration, and then finally preserving the relationship with them, or you know, disconnecting with them in the moment without cutting off the relationship but finding ways to let it continue. So let's talk about the trade show environment. How appealing does this look? Yeah? How would you like to be an attendee walking through this? It's like a giant maze, isn't it? It's like a Vegas casino. All right, well, let's talk about some of the issues that we face. First of all, the opportunity. I think that the trade show floor offers the single best opportunity that you'll probably find in your entire business environment to get more leads, more quickly, more press, more buzz, more attention uh, to and attention from your competitors than any other situation that you're in the entire year. Is there any other situation where you can just have potential sales simply walking by the booth and you can pull them in and turn them into a prospect and a sale? Is there any other time in the year when Abby can do that besides a trade show? I'll take that as a no. All right. So I see this as a tremendous opportunity. The fact that you're here, your potential sales are here, and they're simply walking on by. Plus, you have the resources here you need to make a sale. You have demo stations, you have technicians, you have marketing people who can all work together to answer questions, whereas most of the time, I'd imagine, when you're back in the office and on the road, you're more scattered than that. So this is a great opportunity. On the other hand, it's a little bit of a challenge, right? Tell me what's challenging about a show floor. What, what is it that sort of challenges your ability to make sales here? Give me some, give me some feedback. Competition, great. You're here, but you're, you have uh, a bunch of other companies on the show floor who are trying to do the same thing with the same people, right? Okay, so there's one. What else? Getting people in your booth, getting them from the blue carpet to the red carpet. 
All right, what else? People don't normally know what they want. So you have to try to help them figure out what they want rather than just asking them and having them tell you. Okay, so you have to do a little detective work. What else? Don't have enough time, right. You've got roughly two and a half days, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you've got limited resources here. You've only got so long that your own voice will hold out. And you've got to divide that time and use it as efficiently as possible. What else? Sorry? Triage. Triage, I imagine, as you're using it here, is the concept of sort of walking through prospects and figuring out what is each prospect worth to you. And as a result of that, how much time do I want to spend with this one versus this one, right? Okay, give me one more. Give them each, sorry? Get them interested in the first 15 seconds. So being able to initiate a conversation that pulls them in so they want to know more, okay? I'll give you, uh, let me see, I'll give you a couple myself. How about the physically taxing aspect of it, right? I mean, you're simply standing on your feet all day. This is, this is padding, but underneath this is concrete, and it's just physically tiring. How about this? You have the full spectrum of knowledge levels in this room. Some people walk up, they'll, they just joined this industry yesterday, this is their first trade show, they don't know any of the lingo, they don't know how things work, they don't know who the players are, they don't know who they, what they want. You have to start from the very beginning with those people. Other people, the next person you talk to two minutes later, might be the other end of the spectrum, have worked in this industry for 20 years, know all the lingo and want to cut through all that stuff and get to the point. How do you figure out who's who? All right, so there are some of the challenges that we have in mind. So I want to ask you guys, what do you think the difference is? What's the difference between an average trade show booth that does okay but doesn't make too much of a splash and a really, really successful trade show booth that takes advantage in every way of its presence here on the show floor? What makes that difference? What's the single thing in the booth? Yeah, besides me. You think it's us, Irene? All this stuff? You think it's the employees? Absolutely right. In fact, they've done surveys in the trade show world, and what they find is that in order of importance, the single biggest factor in whether somebody becomes a prospect and eventually a sale in this entire booth are the staff, the people in it. After that is the product, after that is the company. And so I love the fact that Gwen has helped create this magnificent space where you have all the resources you need but guys, ultimately, it's not the signage on the wall that's gonna sell these people. It's their personal relationship with everybody here. You are the most important factor in making this booth successful. And I want you to keep that in mind as we go through the day.